Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today is a pretty exciting video. I finally found a pretty decent deal of some greens mowers on Marketplace. I've been watching them for a couple weeks and contemplating if it was a good or bad idea. I don't know yet still. I think it's a good idea. But in this video, I will be getting them running and actually I will be doing an engine swap on another one to a modern engine to see you know, I have a reliable one, see how that goes. So, oh, it's pretty cool. Here are the mowers. This is where I'm at now. I've got no spark on this one right here, unfortunately. I've messed with the coil and the, the uh, coil shut off switch and everything. It's, there's something going on there, but it shouldn't be that bad. This one, the reel was locked up, but I freed that up and have not put the pull start on it to see if it works yet. And the, the clutch is frozen on that one too, which sucks. This one right here, this one started second pull. This is still the original old engine on it. So these are Jacobsons. They go, they range from between the 30s and 50s, I want to say. They're pretty cool. And then this one here is getting the engine. It did come with a bunch of boxes of engines and parts, but I like four cycle engines. All right, so what we have here is I picked up this engine at work. 20 bucks. I was missing a fuel tank, but I, don't, I haven't found any other issues with it yet, so I couldn't, couldn't complain. 20 bucks for that. Hopefully it's not too powerful for this thing, but what I got going on here is I flipped over the original engine plate because the, uh, the crank height is 4.2 inches and it's about a half inch too tall. So I flipped this over, lowered it down, ground that down so the pulse heart housing will clear and put some janky spacers there but the clutch and everything lines up so now we just have to i drilled out these i just i hope i drilled them out correctly i'm gonna drill them out a little bit wider so the engine can twist a little if i really need to to get that to line up with the clutch better as you can see some things have changed I had a minor setback and I thought I would try and put the the Briggs engine on this chassis. Turns out that wasn't possible without changing a bunch of frame components. So I pulled the Briggs back off this one because I tried to put it on. And this all started because I found out this sucker did not have a bed knife on it. And I thought I could just, you know, quick swap over to the other chassis and be totally fine since I would have no spark. It's like, ah, yeah, well, that'll be fine. Not the case. So then what I did is I took this other engine, or uh, about this, this machine here, I have not even tried to work on yet because the clutch linkage is all locked up. There's no recoil on it. I I took the bed knife off that and I put the bed knife on this machine. It looks like it'll work. I've been adjusting it right now to hope, hopefully I can get it to where it's just barely making contact. I'll put a bunch of 120 grit on it. Hopefully it'll, you know, run it, get it sharp. And at this moment, I'm not worried about the paper test. That's the least of my concern with these machines. I want to get them operating and cutting and everything good. And then I'll get them, you know, really sharp. But for now, this is the update of where I'm at. And yeah. Go put your finger in there, I'll get you.
pinch your fingers this time. I think we'll go with that, and if I have to adjust it anymore, I think it'll be fine. Um, put the engine back on it and go from there. how I realized I did not have a bed knife. wider I'm sure it's gonna scalp the green pretty bad. Right now it's cut at 3 8 and it's cut well with the 17 inch real mower but this much wider and heavier is going to probably wreak havoc out there but that's okay.
right, so you saw that uh, bull ride of an experience I just had there trying to run that mower. I've never ran one of them before. And let's just say I, uh, I didn't hit every spot the first time. I will say the thing runs and cuts really well. It looks incredible compared to that McLean. So off camera, I did lower the height of cut again a little bit. So I got exactly three eighths now. I had it a little bit higher because I thought I would scalp the heck out of it. I didn't, which is good. So I went down a little and I made the reel to bed knife clearance tighter and put a 180 grit on it. And I think it's doing a great job. It looks, it's awesome. It's more like turf now than it did before.
I just got done with that. Mowing this fairway. That went really well. That one with the old two cycle engine on it is much more forgiving. It's not as fast and I think it's not, it's still not running right, but I, I really like the speed it's at right now. It's slow, just kind of putters along. Once in a while I had to push it a little because it started choking. But I blame that on this uh, really uneven ground. And it, I mean, look at that, it did an amazing job. Very happy with that one. I was going to address the fringe here, but with the fence being so close and those trees, I'm probably gonna still leave that up to that Great States mower. All right, so I'd say these mowers have a really good cut quality. Um, you can find them here and there on the market, but I mean, unless you like, unless you really know your way around like small engines and all that. I don't know if I'd recommend them to everyone. Cause I mean, if you can slap a, you know, a Predator engine or a Honda or a Briggs like this on them, then I'd say you're golden. They're really good mowers, built really, really well. Um, they still make parts for them on, you can find them on r, &R or Jacobson. But I think these are really cool mowers. up today's video on the Jacobsons. They performed really well. We had two of them running very well. The other two, they're a work in progress, but they'll come around. We do need to order a bed knife now for the other mower, but I think that'll wait until next year. At least get three of them going, it'll be awesome. But as you can see, there they are, and it's kind of hard to see, but these things stripe really well. So that has really made this look so much nicer. That'll do it for today's video. Thanks for watching.